Welcome to another episode of Riding and Wrenching with your humble host, the Almighty Q. In today's episode, I'm going to compare a 2021 GMC Denali to my 2021 Ford F-250 Super Duty Roadkill. Now, what I'm going to focus on in this video are just some of the key features that make these trucks different from one another. I'm not going to talk about tow ratings or specs or anything like that. Again, we're just going to focus on the things that make these trucks comfortable. Now, this is my neighbor's truck, and I want to thank him for letting me take a look at it for a while and talking about it because I'm a big fan of Ford, but I'm also a car guy, and I love to look at new vehicles. So let's get into it with this brand new truck. The differences between these trucks can be boiled down to three different things. The tailgate, the interior, and the size of the cabin. I had an opportunity to drive uh, this Denali. It rolled great. It's a fantastic truck. It looks good. And I actually think the GMC truck is really kind of sporty. It's a great looking truck. Now we have to start this review off by talking about this multifunction tailgate. It's actually pretty incredible. When I first opened it up, I was expecting it to feel very heavy, but it doesn't. It can function as a normal tailgate, or you can open it up and it can also function as a bench. There's another way you can set it up so that it operates as a workbench. So it's actually pretty cool. This thing has tailgate speakers with volume controls and a USB power and audio input. It can pretty much do everything. Now, is that a feature that I would use? I don't know. I don't have it on my Ford, but I really like it. It's pretty intriguing. Now, the truck also has a step up similar to the Ford. And so that when the bed is folded down, as you can see here, it can be either a seat or a step up to get you into the bed of the truck. And it has a, a handle, to, a grab handle to make it easy to get in and out of the bed of the truck. Now on the corner of the truck, you can also see a step that's built into the bumper that would allow you to reach over and into the bed. Now the tailgate on the Ford is a lot simpler and a lot less complex. You're either gonna operate it as a standard tailgate or you can pull out the step ladder, which will allow you easy access into the bed of the truck. Also built into the model of some Ford trucks, it, it, you can use the tailgate as a workbench because it has power back there. So the Ford truck is just a lot simpler. It does the job. It doesn't have any uh, frills with speakers and crap like that that you don't really need. Now, in addition to having a multifunction tailgate, General Motors comes with it with a multifunction floor mat. Who's ever heard of such a thing? But it's actually pretty cool. It's a rubber floor mat and it also has a carpeted insert to it that's actually pretty neat so i like this feature it gives you an opportunity to rinse it out or or to be a little bit more fancy it's pretty cool now let's go into the inside of the truck the inside of the truck is pretty standard you have a nice uh, navigation touch screen all your controls everything is well laid out all the power controls and all the accessory switches are in a very convenient place and it's very well done i've got to give gm a lot of credit for this it looks really good now, I think the screen size is a little bit small. The screen in the Ford is a little bit bigger, but it's not that much of a game changer for the 21s. Now, in 22, Ford really came with it and upsized the screen. So we'll see what General Motors is going to do with their 22 models. But I really like the interior uh, of the GM truck. It's sporty. It looks good. And it's just a wonderful truck. It actually... It's laid out really well and with the touch screen, everything just functions really, really well. Now, another feature that the uh, GM has that Ford doesn't have is a heads up display. Now, unfortunately, the camera is not going to be able to show it uh, because it, it faded out. Now, another feature here that's pretty neat is a wireless phone charging port that's very convenient and easy to access, unlike Ford's, which is hidden behind a door.
Now let's take a look at this camera system. This is an area where GM beat the brakes off of Ford. I feel like there's a lot more camera angles. It makes it a lot easier when you're towing or maneuvering the vehicle. I don't know how many cameras are on this truck, but it's pretty incredible. And I like all of the options that you have for looking at your truck bed, looking what's in front of you, looking at something that's being towed behind you. You have cameras and the mirrors. They are everywhere. And the system that GM has designed for this truck makes it really easy to flip through. Now there's also uh, guides when you're backing the truck up. Now Ford has that as well, so that's very useful. But it just I just think there are more camera options on the General Motors truck that makes this very functional and nice and easy to use. I absolutely love it. Now the camera system in the Ford is actually pretty good. There are very good options for images that you can use. The problem that I have with it is the backup camera. I want to use the backup camera when I'm doing a bumper pull. That would allow me to see whatever load that I have back there being pulled in the bumper. There is a camera angle that allows you to see what's in the truck bed, but when you're towing something with a bumper pull, that's what I want to see. And for some odd reason, that's blocked out when the vehicle is in motion with Ford. So the image that you see is the only rear view image that you can get when the vehicle is in motion. And I find it to be pretty frustrating. Now, I do believe there are additional camera options that you can buy and add on to the Ford system. But my truck is stock and right now this is what I have. General Motors ripped this sunroof straight out of the 1980s. Ford Motor Company came with it with a full panel moonroof that is absolutely amazing, but it does impact your tow rating. Now this next comparison came as a shocker to me. I tried to line these trucks up as best I could because I wanted to find out if one was longer than the other. And what I discovered was that the cabin of the Ford is just slightly larger or longer than the cabin of the Chevy. And again, I walked around a couple of times just to make sure that I had it lined up squarely and they seem to be very square. In fact, the trucks appear to be the same length. So that must mean that the bed of the GMC truck is slightly long, longer or larger than the bed of the Ford. So GM decided to sacrifice a little bit of cabin space for a slightly larger bed. Now you're going to see in the next clip how that makes a difference with space and the rear seat. So the next thing that we did, I slid the seat of the driver's seat of the Chevy all the way forward and I sat in the back. I'm six foot two and that's the only way I could get that much room. The forward back seat is definitely more comfortable. Now both trucks have under seat storage. And again, this is where the size of that interior makes a difference. The Ford is just a little bit bigger and it's collapsible. But the GM has some additional features in the back seat that you can't find in the Ford. So that's pretty nice. The back seat has a hidden compartment that really isn't so hidden, but it is pretty convenient. It's not very big and I don't know what you could store back there, but it's a very good use of the space. I like it. Now here's another area where I think Ford did a slightly better job and that's with the automatic folding running boards. The running boards on the GM seem to be a little bit more narrow, the, making them a little bit trickier to use, but it still works and they look good. Well, so that's it. I thoroughly enjoyed my time driving the Chevy truck. It rides very well and I've got to give General Motors a lot of credit. I think they did a fantastic job on this truck. I really like the interior. I like all of the additional cameras that you have. The heads up display, I wish I could capture it on here, but it's simply incredible. I really, really like that. And an added bonus with the GM diesel is it runs a little bit quieter than the Ford diesel. But a lot of guys get these diesel trucks because they want to make a lot of noise. I think an engine should be felt and not heard. So I think I give GM the thumbs up on the engine. Drivability, like I said, it's really good. Uh, there's not a significant difference from one or the other. They both ride very well, and you couldn't go wrong picking either one of these trucks. Unless you wanted the gigantic sunroof, then you got to come with the Ford. But the GM also has that multifunction tailgate with the speakers that I really don't think anybody's going to use. 
but they're there. It's an option. So I like it. So again, it just really depends on what you value, what means the most to you. Do you want more rear seat space? Then you better get the Ford. If you want the speakers, you better get the General Motors truck. So it just really depends on what you want. Have fun shopping uh, for your truck. You won't make a mistake with either one of these guys. So if you like this video, if this provided any help to you at all in your search for your new truck, then how about give me a, a like, a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel because I'm going to continue putting out great content about motorcycles, cars, trucks, and wrenching on all of them. This is Q, riding and wrenching. I am out.